Hey everyone, Happy New Year. This is a video request I got a couple weeks back, how to create an interactive prototype. And it's actually very easy, and it will only take a few minutes. So here, I have an app design that I did for a milk tea chain based in the San Francisco area. And I have a few screens here. I have um, the main menu, I have an order page, I have their locations, I have their menu, and then I also have the um, the, the flyout menu from the that launches from this hamburger icon here. So there are two websites that are really good for creating quick interactive prototypes. The, uh, the first one is called Envision App. And for whatever reason, these guys are the, the more popular uh, of the two main ones. And the, uh, I think the reason that Envision is more popular is just that they spend a lot more money on marketing. But, uh, so you can use this one, but I'm going to be using a uh, Marvel app. And the reason, the only reason is is that I, I like their UI a bit more, but as far as features, they're, they're almost identical. So test them both out and, and see which one you like better. But I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project in Marvel app. I'm going to call it T-Pumps, and I'm going to use the iPhone 6 template. And then create a project. Oh, and I should also mention that both these sites, they have both free and, and paid plans. For our case, the free, the free tier will be absolutely fine. So after I do that, you'll see here that there's a link to download the Sketch plugin. So you're going to want to do that. So download the Sketch plugin and install that because that's going to make uh, updating your prototype much easier than you can also just, you can upload them either from um, your computer or any kind of uh, cloud storage here. But I'm gonna use the, play, uh, the, the plugin. So after you install the Marvel plugin for Sketch, you'll see up in the uh, title bar here that you can center update all artboards or you can just select uh, specific ones that you want to upload since it's a new project i'm going to upload all my artboards and then i'm going to select uh, the project that i want to use and here i can select at what resolution that i want to upload so i'm just going to keep it as, as a 1x i'm going to upload that All right, and then I'm going to go back here to Marvel app, and you'll see that all my screens have been uploaded. So what I want to do is I want to rearrange these in the order that I want. So just hover over any of these screens, and you can drag and drop them where you want. So first I want that, and then I want my order page, I want my locations, and my drink menu. Okay, so now I want to start adding the uh, interactivity because if I click this play button here, it will launch another tab and it will show my app inside this and then use the uh, iPhone um, as a background here. So it looks pretty cool, but if I click on it, 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 it doesn't do anything. Whoops, actually, yeah away if I click it doesn't do anything so let's fix that so I'm gonna go and edit here and then I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing all right so you'll see here if I hover over my screen I have this this box here and that allows me to draw a box uh, and create a link 
to where I want it to go. So these different hot zones here. So, and then after I draw that box, I have the this menu pop up with all my different screens. And all I need to do is click on the one that I want it to go to. And now if I go back here and I click this, it will go to that screen. But we can do even better than that. So under this tab here for screen transition, why don't we do push left? So if we go back here and we click this now, we have this nice slide transition. So cool. So that's the start. Now we want to go ahead and add the uh, links for our other pages here and do the same. So I'll do a drink menu. And then locations. And I also want to do the uh, transitions on both of those. Yep. All right. So now. Um, let's go ahead and test this out. If I do drink menu, goes to my drink menu. Uh, and if I do locations, it goes to locations. But from there, I can't get to my other views, so I need to fix that as well. So let's go back to our home page here, and let's change our other views. So. Here I have my order page, and what I want to do for this one is I want to make another link here, and I want that to link to my kind of my flyout menu. Now the difference here is I don't want it to go directly to the screen. I want to overlay it, so. I want to click this layer and image here. I'm going to drag it where I want it. And then I'm going to, by default, it will add this shadow to it, but I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. I'm going to save this layer. And then I want to transition on this as well. So I want it to slide left. So let's go ahead and try that out now. Oh, and I should mention that anytime you make a change in your app here, you don't need to refresh uh, refresh this page or close the tab and reorder it. Um, it will automatically update those changes. So we can go ahead and do place order. And then if I click this now, see, my menu slides out. And if I click out of it, it slides back out. So it looks nice. Already it's looking good. All right. So let's go on to the next view here, locations. And let's do the same thing. We want to link it to our mobile menu. We want to do a transition of slide left. And we want to layer it. Yep, and we want to take that shadow off and save it. All right. Next, we have our menu, and this is a long screen, so this is someone is going to need to scroll. And so, what we want to do is we want to have this is our our title here is in a fixed position, so we want to use this fixed header and drag this down. And do that, and I'll show you what that does. You can probably already guess, but if I go to, and you can just slide through here. If I go to this page now and I scroll, see this? My um, my menu stays in place, and the rest of my design will scroll. So that's awesome. It looks like a real prototype now. But um. And I also need to link to my um, menu again. 
Let's go ahead with that, layer it, drag this back up. Take the shadow off. Okay. And now this comes out. The problem is these links don't go anywhere. So we need to fix that as well. Let's go back. And in our menu here, let's go ahead and create links for each of those views. So we have place order, and then we'll also do a slide, less, slide left transition. Uh, menu. And locations. All right, let's go back to our prototype here. So now, if I click order, it will go to my order page. If I do menu, it will go to my menu. And if I do locations, it will go to locations. And you notice it works on all those views. And the reason for that is that these links are all, all these hotspots are on that on this screen here. So we only have to create these links once versus having to do it um, multiple times. So that saves a lot of time. So just like that, we have our interactive prototype. So if you want to, um, what we really want to do is we want to test this on an actual phone. So you just need to do this um, share link here and then um, open this on your phone and you won't have this this frame around it of the phone it'll be full screen so you can test it what it'll really look like on a phone and that about wraps things up so hope you guys like this video um, just a quick Interactive prototype like this is really good for the early stages of design uh, if you want to share it with a client or your boss and it will give them uh, a better idea of what the flow of navigating through the app will be. It will also give you a better idea of um, if the flow makes sense, if there's any areas you can improve. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.